Hey YouTube, how's it going? Been a man 20 here tonight. You know I'm a little casual. I'm actually it's in my living room. Uh, just got back from just an awesome trip. I want to first off start by apologizing for the lack of videos. I've not been uploading anything. Uh, if you follow my Facebook, that's even been a little slow. I finally got enough video to keep me supplied forever. Um, I have probably about three months of back footage. I've been traveling a lot, filming a lot. Um, I've just been on an amazing journey. Uh, my life couldn't be better right now. It's just incredible what I've got the opportunity to do. So I want to bring all that to you. If you check out every Thursday, I will have a video guaranteed, period. I will have a video up every single Thursday. Uh, this one's coming up pretty late at night. Hopefully, I'll start getting those up until the morning. Um, Sundays, I might have a little tidbit videos, nothing major, just, you know, little uh, cool things I've seen during the week. I do have been a man. 20 t-shirts up for sale they look like this but they're not like this shirt this is a button up that i actually wear for my videos i think they're awesome there'll be a link directly below this video um this last week i got to meet with an amazing woman by the name of debbie uh, doing some amazing research with uh, galapagos tortoises and that is this video you're about to see i do apologize for the camera being so shaky um, I didn't have a tripod with me, so one of my friends just held the camera while we filmed. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of great videos coming. Uh, I think next week is the Tinley Park Reptile Show. So get ready for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't forget. Buy my t-shirt. Link directly below this video. Thanks for watching. So this is one of the residents that you can see here at the Cadofton Zoo. Uh, I'm here with Debbie, and this is the massive Galapagos tortoise. You, uh, you said that you've been doing some research with this guy, uh, some of his intelligence, that you've been target training him and stuff. What, what kind of, can you demonstrate some of those for us? I can, and um, let me just say that she's got eight vocalizations that we're aware of, everything from hisses to squawks to wheezes to kind of a whistle sound and a moan. Uh, most of her uh, vocalizations are complaints or <laughs> the food service in this place thinks you're not giving me your nope. finger with that strawberry. <laughs> now she's also uh, target trained. She's been target trained for the last four months. Target. Good. And we can use target for uh, targeting to put tuck her in at night. We can use targeting to bring her to the public. Target. We can use it to shift her from the building, from her winter housing back to her summer yard. Um, we're working on continuing this to stationing for veterinary procedures for DNA testing and so forth. Target. And I'll bring her back over to the fence. <laughs> some of her other, um, some of the things we've seen, she works a two and a half inch barrel bolt latch, has opened that latch four times that we're aware of, twice to which she op actually opened the door. Um, she is facially aware. We parked a golf cart one time to block her target. And she looked under the golf cart, through the golf cart, and behind the golf cart, realized there was enough room behind the golf cart and was gone. Whereas I think most sulcatas, if you did that, they just try to file through the golf cart. But it was boom, 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 problem solving, problem solved. That's awesome. Target. About how big is she? She is about 300 pounds now. She will gain another 100 pounds throughout her life. Um, it's indeterminate growth. She will grow, uh, begin slowing down probably about 50. And um, she will grow throughout her life, but it will slow down. How old is she? Do you she know? is 26 years old. When I started working with her, she was about this big. Gotcha. Um, how did you end up acquiring the same? She was captive hatched, and um, unfortunately, the people that raised her, um, the woman passed away and needed a home for her. She came to us, which um, we always believe that that woman would be very happy to see what we've done with her. I am doing, like I said, a cognitive intelligence test. I want to test, maze test her, do something to spatially test her spatial awareness. Um, I'm calling the paper Understanding the Mind of Woman, Tortoise. <laughs> Very awesome. Well, I do appreciate you showing her to us and teaching her a little bit about us, about 
her to us. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, well, thank you. You're very welcome. Yes. Probably the top of the hill is real bad.